It's called leadership. President Trump went to East Palestine, Ohio today to see the people there, to get a sense of the problem, to do what President Biden should have done 20 days ago, to do what Secretary Buttigieg should have done 20 days ago. Um, and he just did it. And now they're going to do it, okay? He's leading, they're following. And some might say this is a photo op. And sure, there were cameras there, but a photo op is actually important, all right? It puts the entire government on notice. And I don't think Biden or Buttigieg would be going unless this happened today. So it's like he's still president. This is what President Biden should have done, but this is not what he's capable of doing. He doesn't care about these people. This is a red state, Ohio. I really think it's that simple. That's one of the reasons why these people have been blown off. Donald Trump going was huge, significant. It's one of the reasons why he won the election in 2016 and probably 2020. Uh, because he gets people, he gets the country, he knows where to focus. He did the right thing. By the way, this visit today was covered by Newsmax live on our air at 2.38 p.m. Made comments at the fire station. What was happening on Fox News at the same time? Uh, okay, this. No Donald Trump. Uh, hmm, how about that? Mayor Pete, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, the word is he's going to go tomorrow. He was thoroughly embarrassed on the streets of Washington, D.C., out with his husband for a stroll and blowing off the people. He was asked about it. Listen to this. About a dozen interviews I've given today, and uh, if you'd like to arrange a conversation, uh, make sure to reach out to our press office, but I'm not going to have that conversation with you. Just you don't have a here. message for them? I do, and I shared it with the press many times today. I'd refer you to those comments. Would you mind sharing it with us? No, I'm going to refer you to the comments that I made to the press, because uh, right now I'm taking some personal time, and I'm walking down the street. Are you going down there? <clears throat> What's that? Are you going down there at all? Um... Yep. Yeah, 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 he's going, but he's kind of reluctant about the whole thing. Hey, what he does in a moment is very strange. I'll get to that in a little bit. So uh, he's not there. Joe Biden sent a, I'm thinking about you, message from Poland. <laughs> Areas in Poland, and he says something along these lines. Uh, we got your back. I want affected residents to know that we've got your back. Yeah, three weeks later, we've got your back. <laughs> Affected residents, affected residents, how warm, how, isn't he supposed to be good at connecting? Dear affected residents, we have your back. Meanwhile, Trump went to McDonald's. Hello, everybody. That's a nice, beautiful looking group of people. So I know this menu better than you do. Okay? I probably know it. I love it. You know, he goes to McDonald's. And he actually likes it, all right? He's not putting on an act. It's great. And someone asked a question about, hey, what's this all about? Why are you here? His answer is spot on. Take a look. Why are you visiting today? Huh? Why are you visiting today? Well, we brought a lot of people with us. And more importantly, we brought the federal government with us because uh, when they heard I was coming, they all came. They weren't going to come. They were going to leave you abandoned. And now they're not. And now they're not. And now they're coming. And now it's a priority when before he went, not so much. Sometimes photo ops have a beautiful strategic intent and result. Meanwhile, we have other photo ops that are disastrous all around. Joe Biden with uh, Zelensky over there in Ukraine. What did this mean? Uh, that we're in the, even deeper than we already are? I'm not sure. Uh, Joe has no real strategic guidance to speak of, but uh, that was a photo op without much of a purpose, in my opinion. So what does it mean? I don't know. I don't know.